Hello, it's Tim Spector here of the COVID Symptom Study uh, app and survey. And are you confused by all the figures going on? Are f rates flattening? Are they going through the roof? Um, are we in for a really big problem? Or as some people believe, are we overestimating it? Well, you're not alone in being uh, confused. So I'm trying to help sort this out, looking at our data uh, and trying to make sense of it all with you. Now, um, what's really important to realize is that our app is giving data several days before we get it from the other surveys. It's in a more systematic way than just uh, the government's figures about confirmed cases, uh, because they are based, they're waiting for people to come in and get tested and seeing what happens. And as you know, there have been problems with that system uh, for a few weeks now. Uh, and they're Estimates are about currently three quarters of ours, which is now back about right, back on track. But overall rates have increased only slightly across the whole of the UK in the last 10 days by about 10 percent. And that compares with the previous uh, 10 day period when they went up about 100 percent. So the there is an increase, but it's definitely slowed down, according to uh people like yourselves reporting for us. And there are plenty of cases nationally. We're getting towards a quarter of a million people who actually have infections. And obviously that's uh, a worry. Um, but um, what we need to look at is that nationally, I think it's suddenly become a bit confusing because it's not the same around the country. Um, and it's just a, a, really in two halves. The, uh, the South is only mildly affected, it must be said. And the second wave never really seemed to have uh, taken uh, taken off in the southwest and the southeast and to a lesser extent in the east of England. Um, and areas of central London, they do have high cases in some areas, but as a whole, uh, it's nothing like as bad as in the north where uh, we see five times as many cases. And that's been really consistent um, both uh, when things were quiet in the summer uh, and also uh, during these these recent uh, increases in the last uh, two or three weeks. And our app is showing us that the rate of increase has started to tail off in the northwest that was bearing the worst of the problems, but is still in increasing uh, quite rapidly in the northeast and in Yorkshire, with the Midlands being somewhere uh, in between. So uh, in most of the country, we're not seeing big strain on hospitals. And in the north, in some of these areas that are affected, we are seeing to see hospital emissions creeping up. Nothing like what we had earlier. And this may be because uh, it's 50 percent of the people being infected are under the age of 30 and are not going to go to hospital at all. But definitely we need to uh, treat these areas differently and have different rules. So when we're talking about uh, uh, approaches to lockdown, this has got to be regional. Um, but I do question whether local lockdowns are going to be as effective. Things like curfews are going to work while many people, many of, of the quarter of a million people who are infected are not self-isolating and they're not protecting other people. And the latest the stats we had on that was less than one in five people are really complying properly. So it's really important that people do comply. I think we also need to tell people to uh, understand the early symptoms. And if you go on our app, you'll learn much more about that. Headaches and fatigue are the first early signs that people get. And we should be much more aware of all the symptoms. So um, do help us out. Uh, inform yourself and the rest of your family by using the app, by sharing it, by logging and staying as safe as you can. Thank you.